Hello Saggies, what's up? Welcome to your Daily Juice for March the 28th, 2023 and your Daily Juice. Let's see what you need to know, what you need to be aware of. So this is your Daily Juice for March the 28th, Tuesday, 2023. Sagittarius, like the video. Ooh, we got time to go at the bottom deck. Like the video guys. Comment below if it resonates with you. This is your Daily Juice. Alright, Sagittarius. Daily Juice for March, Tuesday, March 28, 2023. Let's see. Let's see what you need to know and be aware of what energy surrounding you tomorrow, Sagittarius. Let's see. And I'm recording this a day early, okay? So we got community and we got a leg up. Sagittarius, so with you cleaning things up in your life, doing things different, um, you have a leg up in the situation. Whatever that you're going through, um, whatever you're going into here, I feel like it's like it's meant to be whatever it is. We have community and leg up. Like you have a leg up in the situation. All right. Um, over all odds here. And I feel like somebody doesn't like it. What's the um, energies from my Sagittarius Holy Spirit in their daily juice? March 28, 2023. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's see. We got Fork in the Road and Serendipity. And Yang. It could be about a male that you're dealing with, Sagittarius. But with the serendipity here, you are going into a moment in your life, okay? A phase in your life, a cycle in your life where you are living in this moment, serendipity here. Okay. Holy Spirit, like, read it, read it. Okay, let me find the book. Hold on. If I can find it. If I can find it, Sagittarius. Hold on, guys. I don't know where is it. Oh. Okay, here we go. I feel like I need to read a Sagittarius. All right. You know what? I don't know where that box is. Oh my God. Look up Serendipity Sagittarius. Google uh, Serendipity. Right now, I feel like you're going into your independence. You're going into this phase inside your life, Sagittarius, where um, and, and it may be starting tomorrow, maybe the next 24 hours, maybe this week, where you are rising higher um, than you are now, okay? You were in a fork in the road, Sagittarius, trying to make a decision. And maybe this is what's going on now, that you're trying to make a decision. And whatever decision you make, this is going to be based on your stability here, okay? I don't know, Saggy. What does it mean to you? What fork? In, what's the fork in the road for you, Sagittarius? All right. Holy Spirit. What's the message for Sagittarius in their daily juice? Holy Spirit for March the 28th, 2023 in our daily juice. What's the message here? Doing a little different Sagittarius. What's the message here for Sagittarius, Holy Spirit? What's the message here for? Ooh, that's a lot. Can't take all of them. I'll just take them three. So we got this one. Okay. And the two. So we got the seven of swords, two of wands, and the devil. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom deck, Sagittarius. Definitely there is a, a decision that you need to make. But the thing is, I feel like the decision that you make is going to have you standing on your own. Okay? You're standing alone, but I feel like you're going to be so independent with the Two of Wands. Um, then we have the Seven of Swords. Maybe you are um, definitely, let's see, what is the Seven of Swords? I need to clarify another day. Then we have the Devil Energy. Capricorn Energy, I feel like you're around somebody that is very low vibrational here. Uh, somebody that drains the life out of you. Okay, and I feel like you're you're taking a stand to be on your own. All right, maybe this is a job here. What is this message for Sagittarius, Holy Spirit, their daily juice? So we have what is this Seven of Swords? Sagittarius need to know in this daily juice. What's the fluence in the Seven of Swords? Sagittarius, their daily juice, Holy Spirit, the Three of Swords. Okay, somebody's realizing that they done made a mistake because when they did whatever they did to you, whenever they hurt you. They just don't know that they, they put you on a throne here. They put you in a place where um, you've met your fears, okay? Two of Wands. We got the sun here. You're going into your happiness, Sagittarius. What's this Two of Wands? What's, it, what's influencing this Two of Wands, Holy Spirit, Sagittarius energy? You got the Emperor, <laughs> what I tell you. The Ten of Swords. And we got the Two of Wands coming out again. All right, so... With you leaving somebody, Sagittarius, or leaving this place, or whatever it is, okay? Somebody may, somebody name must be Daniel, Danielle, Dandelion. Somebody reads a lot of books here. 
but you are starting to stand alone. Did we have the Emperor energy, Aries energy here? I mean, I feel like whatever somebody's doing, Sagittarius, and what decision you are making with this fork in the road is going to put you into your serendipity here. Okay, it is. It's putting you on this boss level here, Empire energy, where you're realizing you are your stability, you are your structure, you are protected, Sagittarius. Also, against this Ten of Swords, whoever's trying to end you in this. Ace of Wands. What's the devil for Sagittarius Holy Spear in their reading? Let's see. We got the Five of Cups, the Seven of Cups, we got the Ten of Cups, okay, and then we got the Page of Cups. Even though this person is so low vibration, they still come back, okay? Um, wanting here is like the Seven of Cups and it like it's too much. <laughs> like somebody lives in a fantasy world they daydream a lot and they're very low vibrational this somebody may have told you sold you some false dreams Sagittarius also okay or this is what you're finding out but it's like right now page of cups is like you this person is coming back thinking that they could still have you okay or maybe it's a job here and a ten of cups this could be your family but I feel like through it all you're gonna leave these burdens in the past and you're gonna be happy yeah, because we got strength. Like, you gain the strength. You gain the momentum. You gain the confidence here. Eight of Cups to do the work. And to walk towards your stability. Ten of Pentacles, what I tell you. Like, something is a decision for you, Sagittarius. Coming up here in the next 24 hours, 48 hours. Or definitely on March the 28th. What's this fork in a row for Sagittarius, Holy Spirit? What's this fork in a row for Sagittarius? We got the Hierophant. We got the Temperance. The Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Whatever it is, it's going to lead you. What I tell you, whatever decision that you right now make, Sagittarius, is going to lead you to your stability. Your sense of belonging here. Your, your community. That's why community is here. Your happiness here. Like, there's an opportunity or something. Something is here for you, Sagittarius. Ace of Pentacles. Um... Something's going to be bounced out. Tranquil tranquility here. Harmony here. Serenity. And the Hierophant. It could be a commitment also that's coming in. Taurus energy. But like a decision that you need to make. Let's see. What is what is this Holy Spirit? What's influencing this fork in a row for Sagittarius? What's influencing this in their daily juice? What's influencing this fork in a row for Sagittarius in their daily juice? Holy Spirit. Too many. Let's see. Let's grab another deck. What's influencing this fork in a row for my... Sagittarius in a daily juice. What's influencing this fork in a row? What is this? We have the four of cups in reverse. Somebody being bored, somebody refusing you, somebody turning you down. Okay. You realizing that you are enough and walking away from something. Eight of cups. And somebody's being single here. Nine of cups here. Or just being wish you're you're being happy with yourself. Hierophant and the three of pentacles. Some of you guys can be dealing with a job. How does it resonate with you, Sagittarius? All right, Holy Spirit, what does Sagittarius need to focus on? Give me one card. What does Sagittarius need to focus on in their daily juice, March 28, 2023? At the end of the reading, Sagittarius, we will, um, I'll get your yes or no answer. Okay, you can ask a question, get an answer. Okay, hold on for that. All right, Holy Spirit, what does Sagittarius need to focus on March 28, 2023 in their daily juice? What does Sagittarius need to focus on? We got the Two of Swords. <laughs> and the the world make it a decision leaving something where it needs to be and starting a new cycle with yourself Sagittarius the two of swords is definitely like your eyes closed you need to make a decision on something okay two of swords to the four of wands is definitely about your stability wow queen of swords what's the two of swords for Sagittarius the magician The will of fortune. You're manifesting something here, Sagittarius. But I feel like you can't manifest it with your eyes closed. You got to open your eyes up, okay? King of swords and a justice. And you have to be very logical when you do manifest it too. Alright, give me one on this two of swords. What does Sagittarius have to make decision? What's this two of swords to influence this two of swords? Holy Spirit, yeah, okay. The King of Cups and the what is this? The Hangman. 
it's time to see something in a different light Sagittarius in a different perspective here and it's you do not need to make an emotional decision with this do not make an emotional decision and some of you guys you you got somebody in here that's coming back that you don't see to give you some type of apology okay yes yeah, Sagittarius um let's get your advice real quick and i'll get you yes or no answer holy spirit what is it um advice for sagittarius in the daily juice march 28 2023 what's the advice here for my saggies what is the fork in the road to you sagittarius let me know comment below what does this fork in the road mean to you sagittarius oh fearless love okay and feeling safe so we got fearless love here number 25 all right, so let's read that real quick, Saggy. Make sure that you Google Serendipity. And this is the Lenormand deck, so Google Lenormand number 18 Serendipity and read that, okay? So let's see, number 25 here. It says, Temple of the Lovers. What is who? Who's dealing with the Gemini? The Lovers element is the water. It says, Dare to love, begin with loving yourself. Yes. Um, allow yourself to be loved you feel everything deeply you are porous with a wall around your heart this is a paradox it says you are love and you are worth loving your divine assignment is to remain open to fearless love you deserve to be loved in your language you are worthy of love that remembers your beauty at your ugliest moments don't allow your unhealed past to block your future what I, yes you in a fork in the road, Sagittarius, like that world here. Oh, okay. All right. I, I forget it. Where that world is. Something needs to end. That cycle needs to end, Sagittarius, to have this new oomph in your life. Like, okay. <sighs> Sigh relief. That's when I'm feeling like, <sighs> like, oh, thank you. Like, thank you. Okay. So it says, you are worthy of a love that remembers your beauty at your highest at your ugliest moments don't allow your unhealed past to block your future baby real love is sacred contract um real love is sacred contract that says i am vulnerable and committed your heart is safe with me let's expand our consciousness together your goddess declaration is i give love i receive love i am love okay let's get your one more archangel, archangel message Archangel Michael, what is the advice here for Sagittarius, Holy Spirit, and their daily juice? Ooh, that was a bad cut right there. What is the advice for Sagittarius? Thank you, Holy Spirit, their daily juice, March 28, 2023. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So we got, um, you are protected. Number 39, you are safe with my bubble light. You can proceed with confidence, okay? And then we have here... Um, eight deeper insights are ha at hand. Your overall plan is good, but the details need work. Reflect before moving forward. Okay, let's get your one more message for you. Then we get your yes or no question. What is the message here for Sagittarius? Their advice here, their message, Holy Spirit, and their daily juice. Thank you. What is the advice here? Okay, so we got 55 substantial change is in your future embrace the change a need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears i am evolving okay number 99 it is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life you have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill unleash your true power i am courageous okay all right, Holy Spirit, what is the best and higher answer for Sagittarius at this time? Concentrate on your question, Sagittarius, at this time. Let's get your answer. What is the best and highest answer for Sagittarius in their daily views for March the 28th, 2023? Tuesday, Holy Spirit, what is the best and highest answer for Sagittarius at this time? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's see. Ooh, I can't cut today. What's going on? What's the best and highest answer for Sagittarius at this time, Holy Spirit? best and highest answer for Sagittarius in their daily juice March 28 2020 thank you Holy Spirit okay okay cleanse your energy to avoid attraction okay so 
I'm going to take both of them because right now, I mean, it says yes. Powerful manifestation manifestation will lead you to major changes. That's a definitely yes. But you need to cleanse your energy, Sagittarius, to avoid attracting negative energy. Make sure you cleanse your energy, Sagittarius, because you don't want to attract. That's that devil energy, Sag. Where is that? You don't want that. Look at that. That is not cute. Y'all don't want that devil energy here. Toxic energy, low vibrational energy. You do not want that, okay? A cat with one eye. Jesus. Sagittarius, make sure that you avoid attracting negative energy. Vibrate very high. Because when you vibrate high, Sagittarius, there's no place you can go. There's nothing that you cannot manifest, okay? At all. But Sagittarius, I love you, honeys. Have a blessed and wonderful day. This has been your Daily Juice for March the 28th, 2023. I love you. Bye. Mwah.